when you go over computer science theory and some of the IT theory, especially in academic settings, you might go over some of this content. So looking at circuits and truth tables and Venn diagrams, specifically with some of the Boolean operators. So let's look into that at least a little bit. So all of these different things that I just mentioned, they're, they're different. Yes, they're different, but we're not really talking about different information. We're talking about different ways to display the same information, right? So it's the same data. It's just shown in different ways, which depending on what you're doing may help better convey that information or may not depending on what the point is, who your audience is, etc. So this is more or less what we're looking at. So looking at a Boolean operator, which could be displayed via truth table, like on the far left, through circuits um, or circuit type diagrams, like in the middle, or on a Venn diagram on the right. Now these ones don't match up. These ones aren't aligned up. I just threw in some graphics right now so you could see exactly the type of visuals that I'm talking about for these concepts. So for this, the circuit diagrams, I'm using the FET Circuit Construction Simulator, which is from the University of Colorado in Boulder. For the digital logic type circuits, I'm using logic.ly or logically. And then the Venn diagrams um, are just a quick thing thrown together via Photoshop. We're not gonna look at all of them, but I just wanna look at a few just so you really understand the idea. So this isn't really um, a Boolean operator, so to speak. We do have a logical symbol for it, right? This little triangle down here, right? So you can see that. And I decided to call it is right. So when we talk about logic, you'll often see it called identity if you're looking into more like intro to logic type courses. In CS, we don't typically talk so much about this, right? Because it's just, it is whatever it is, right? It's like true is true or X is X or five is five. Like we already know that. So it's not too beneficial for us, right? But it's an easy one to understand just to start with, right? So when the switch is on, light bulb is on, right? When it's true, it's true. When it's false, it's false, right? So if we look at the Venn diagram, the circle is blue, right? If it's in the circle, it's in the circle. If it's not in the circle, it's not the thing, right? And looking at a basic circuit diagram, you just have, you've got your battery, right? This is a little resistor symbol, right? And the electrons move around, they power the light bulb, assuming the switch is on, right? So if the switch is on, it's powered and it turns on, and if the switch is open or off, then there's no power, no light, right? And so we can see this match up with that, right? Switch is off, no light. And you close the switch and the light turns on, right? So simple. One of the reasons we talked about is, is because not is a much more common operator, right? So to represent that, we often use just a exclamation point in front of the word, right? So this is not false, which would be true, right? So when this is off, it becomes not, so it's a not off, which is on. So true is false, false is true. It's just the opposite, the negation of whatever it was. If it's in the circle, it's not it. If it's not in the circle, then it is it, right? So it's the opposite. Looking at the circuit diagram, if we have a switch here, if it's closed, then the light bulb doesn't turn on because this is the shorter route, right? So this completes the circuit, the electrons don't go further. If we open the switch here, this shorter route is broken, right? So the electrons have to go the further route and they light the bulb. And it's pretty simple. If both, then, you know, it's true. And if not, then it's not, right? So here we have true and true is true, and any other combination 
is false, right? So logical conjunction is what you might see it called in a intro to logic type class or a uh, logical philosophy sort of class. And in JavaScript, true and and true, right? So this is our and operator in JavaScript. Venn diagram is simple, right? It's only where the two overlap, right? Because that's both this one and that one. So our circuit diagram, we have two switches, right? They're in serial, right? And so the circuit's broken. We have that matching up here, right? Both are off. You turn one on, so it doesn't light up. You turn the other one on, but you flip them, right? You toggle which one's on, which one's off, so it doesn't work, right? Only when you have both on is that circuit complete, right? So that's and, that's pretty simple. And the last one we're gonna look at is or. So or is when either switch is on, then it works, right? So this is true, and we have these parallel pipes. We've got the pipes here, and false, and it works, right? Now, this could be true, right? This one over here could be false, and that one could be true, or they could both be true, right? So this right now is matching what this shows. Here is our truth table, right? So lots of trues, right? Everything results being true as long as both are not false. Our Venn diagram, if it's an either one, right, then it works, it's shaded in. Our circuit diagram looks sort of like this, right? So we have two different possible routes that can complete this circuit, right? If either one or if both are completed or closed, right, then it will work. So we hit one switch, bulb lights up. We flip those switches, the bulb style lights up. We hit both switches, the bulb lights up, right? So any combination of those switches being on works. And that's it for this one. There are other Boolean operators, but hopefully understanding this, you kind of get the idea of what those ones might look like too, right? All right, thanks for watching. And I'll have another video up, I don't know, someday. <laughs>